Well, I'm back. My wife let me go out on my own. Oh, lordy. <laughs> oh, what mischief I could have got up to. <laughs> I'm in Gisborne. I went and got a pair of things from mum to give to my sister-in-law. I'm not going to mention. It's a Christmas present. I don't mention Christmas presents over the internet. Because they could be watching. Anyway, I'm going to go home now. Before I do, we just a little tour of Gisborne. I'm going to get out of the car park first. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, just do a little short tour of Gisborne. Show you what the town looks like. Because uh, I've got to keep my eye on the road. Yeah, I am. what's going on and I love it when people park their car so close to yours you can't get out especially when it's a Ford Ranger 3.26 auto I actually do love mine better I hope she gets hot and the sun gets hot on her car. No, I don't hope that. Swishing. <laughs> you can wait, mate. I'm getting out. I've got to get out. I've got to get out. <laughs> so, this is a little tour of Gisborne Town. Or Gisborne. This is just a little main street that we are going through now I put the air conditioner up too high and uh, blocks out my voice <laughs> not that anyone's road either beautiful trees here it's a beautiful place up here and you've got coals over there only a small coal shopping centre but it's nice my old boss lives up here somewhere. And you got the pub up here on the left. Wanna say Miguel? Tropical Tim? I'll get you one. <laughs> Some little places in between. Other shops over there. Pet store. Vet on the corner. I can't drink and drive unfortunately. IGA. On my right here, I can't show you because I'm going straight. A little park there to my left. It's a quaint little town, it's very nice. A lot of real estate agents, there's some shops up towards my right, and shops towards my left. I will do another video on this little town one day when we get a chance to. Pop in and have a look. Go through, mate. Go through. Some beautiful four-wheel drives up here, especially the uh, Tritons. I love them. Um, it's a nice one there with camping gear all over it and bike racks. My old boss's wife had the. Um, has a shop over on that corner over on the other side there, dress shop. I don't know whether it was that one, that corner, or the one up a little bit further. There's a corner shop there. Let's go up here a little bit and have a look. And to my right and have a look. There's not much up there though. So take a gander. Oh, she had a good bug pee. Must have thought I was so guapo sexy. <laughs> That's the furniture. Homewares there. Celebrations. Pet supplies. Anne Marie Salon. That's all that's there.
pink house now that is something to look at hang on guys the pink house I love that style be nice in the Philippines that style honey you should come with me you could have seen the pink house going up, new flats, new units. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that was a fast turn. Why didn't they make this street long or wide? Fuck at me. <laughs> nice house there too. Some lovely little houses here. Not much down that street. I'll show you a bit better. I don't know what this is. Whether it's a restaurant or what it is. Some sort of community hall, isn't it? It's all locked up. I have a little gander around, a little look. Must have been like an old, old wall storage place one time. A modern garage on the side of it there. Some nice old houses around here. Oh my god, I just got shit on. <laughs> the birds are food on the roof. Roof. They must have gone across the road there where that pink building is. Have a look, see what it looks like. I can go across. Yes, I can. No cars. Fans and lighting. Oh! Middendorf, I think it is. Must have uh, been there originally. Let's go up the next street where that pink house was. There's another. Whoops! Go through. Come on. Go out. I'm letting you out. Or are you readjusting yourself? Must be re readjusting themselves to go into the car park. Let's go up the next street because they had a better view of Where are 
a safe, nice street, nice streets here. A lovely garden, so to speak. A retaining wall too, very nice. I did straighten my camera up, what's going on? Is this loosening? This view from this road, very nice, isn't it? I'll probably get honked, but it's a lovely view. Some nice places around here. Not so nice, but great buildings. God, we need to get out of this big building craze. Jesus. <coughs> <coughs> Gisborne Business Centre. For Christ's sake, a little old house would be more efficient. Oh, Gisborne Car and Dog Wash there. It's lovely. Gisborne 100% volunteers there. A big football oval over that way. Go up this way, go left. Take you up this way. Oh, CFA Country Fire Authority. Uh oh, better slow down. Mr. Policeman, the Sheriff's Office, the local county police station. <laughs> Blokes playing cricket out there. Well, yeah, that's too hot to be standing around there. Oh, that's that's one thing I hate about cricket. Oh, I used to hate it at school until I caught someone out. Um, One-handed, too. Good catch. That's nice. But, uh... Just a little country town on the outskirts of Melbourne. Thought I'd show you some nice views over that way. My actually my nephew's brought a hand and land and house package up here. If I knew where it was I'd go and show you but I'm not going to because I don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, I suck myself in there. Yeah, that's Mindorf's, uh, the electrical place. So I'm assuming they had that pink building there. That's why it's all locked up. They got pathology, Melbourne pathology up here. Some nice, nice looking. Places. Yeah, he had the sh where the Telstra shop was. His wife had the dress shop, and it's no longer there. It's a Telstra shop now. Town butcher. And if my brother was smart enough, he'd buy a butcher shop up here in the main town. Hamburger shop, fish and chips guys, Gisborne PC world, for computers on the other, barber. Big waterfall, fountain, sorry. Nice trees in the middle. Food works there on my left. Here comes a horse and trailer. A car and trailer, sorry. <laughs> oh, luxury. Thank you, buddy. Nice to see there are some nice people around. That's the local Gisborne Town Hall over there. On my left. Howie Reserve. The Bistro. Uni's Diner. 
haven't been in there yet. I used to stop at Nisbet all the time on the way up to Bendigo. Oh, it's hardly. Barber shop. Some little units in there tucked away. Gisborne Road, Kilmore Road that goes to Kilmore that way. We used to have a funny saying about Kilmore. There's a lot of people in Kilmore. You can kill more people in Kilmore. That's what we used to say. We used to have a funny little saying. Some nice places. I think my brother, I think my nephew, brother's son, Nicholas, and Molly got their house up the back, but I won't. I don't, I'm not sure whereabouts they are to the right of me. I'm assuming I will find out soon one day. big freeway bridge over there to my left that's the old way going into Melbourne so that's all of Gisborne oh, well not all of Gisborne but some there's some nice house there so I wish you a Merry Christmas Nicholas and Molly best wishes from Daddy Scott and Mummy Arlene and Baby CG I could have gone off there and taken a view of the countryside of now Massa but I'm heading home on the rain where the kangaroos and wombats roam give me a home where the kangaroos roam and the wombats dig holes every day the kookaburras laugh at you and the possums fly that's the pygmy possum they fly emus roam the plains of Sunbury and they used to run, I think they run them up here a lot too. They're more up near the old uh, Emu Bottom Homestead in Sunbury, just outside of Sunbury. That was a nice drive, I enjoyed that. Keela, 31, no, I don't want to go there. Been there, lived in East Keela for a long time. If I was to buy a new house, I'd go further out from Sunbury. Like a little farmhouse on the land. A bit of land, a bit of land for Arlene to uh, grow some um, vegetables and stuff. Um, you know, her Philippine plants. They're growing pretty good now in the back out. Uh, and some vegetables. Just, and a bit of room for CJ to run around is more important to me than anything. We've got some, you know, all these gum trees around. And no koalas in these ones, I don't think. We don't see many. School crossing up the road here. There's a wayside. There, to my left, if you veer off there and you're doing a long trip and you're busting after you've had a few drinks uh, of Sprite or lemonade or Coca Cola, you can go there to the offside parking where all the prime movers park at the night time and they tuck it down and go to sleep. Uh, you know, it's great. Uh, you can also uh, have a feed there. There's no restaurant, truck stop type thing, but if you take away, you can pull up and have a bit of a relaxation. Put the old seat back and have a sleep for a bit. 
remember drowsy drivers die it's another thing we have on our thing if it's not drink and drive it's drowsy drivers um, you know can die then uh, watching what they're doing and they fall asleep and they go like this on the side of the road and that's what those bunks are for to wake you up They're beautiful country. They chopped the juice of cancel, could have gone up a bit further. Um, a lot of gum trees, beautiful gum trees. I love them. Beautiful country, this Australia. Mount Aitken on my right. Mum's car's doing well. Good. I filled the tank up the other day, I've got to put a bit more petrol in that, keep it above full I think. Uh, when I mean keep it under half full. So. That way you go left, you can go into uh, somebody there too. I thought I'd come this way, just to confuse you. Hey, Rombas Function Centre up there. It's a nice place too. Uh, Mount Aitken, there's actually a golf course up there somewhere. There used to be a golf, there's one in Wood End too. It's the steepest golf course I've seen on Wood End. I like the one at uh, Queenscliff too. It's alright mate, I'm sober. You just came over to me. <laughs> Joke playing. Oh, beautiful country. Good to get out a bit. I wish my wife was here. She would have enjoyed this run. We could have gone up. Actually, we're planning a trip up to Albury because I want to take her up to see the paddle steamer up there and Albury and uh, go visit. Kevin and Gemma! I said that too late. Whoa, they pulled away the old mobile service station that used to be on the right there. Used to be a good survey too, if you were, you know, you forgot to put petrol in your car before you went. Yeah, my wife really shouldn't let me out of I'm dangerous. <laughs> oh, VL Commodore. Oh, someone's having troubles. Better update, mate, and use that just to go to car shows. Trailer. Old Holdens never die. They just sit there and rust. Ah. Oh, God, we've got some good sayings here in Australia with cars. Uh, Ford. Fast on race day, first on race day. He looks like he's copped a beaten. His missus must have given him a dot. <laughs> Jog Lang. Yes, our thoughts and prayers are with you in the Philippines. Oh, they've seen that there. It's a tree. I thought it was a concrete uh, chimney. It's a tree. Oh, look at the views in Melbourne. Well, you can't really see the views in Melbourne. Anyway, I'm going off here. And he pulled out too soon, you silly wombat. I'd love to get up and see the views. On a better um, scale. Anyway, another trip. Save that in another trip video. Cap Road, Sunbury. Now I can road. 
Well, I can. Whoops, car's coming. Watch what you're doing, Scotty. Robin. Stud. Stud. Someone's had a mistake. Someone is standing there waiting for someone. I just want to check something out, guys. Who the hell's? There's got to be a road up that way. Oh, there is a road up that way. Just check it out anyway. Just taking a little bit of a cruise. You might ask me, what's Scotty doing? Oh my God, Scotty's doing nothing. He's cruising around while his wife's having a nap. Oh. Big construction place in there now. It must be uh, open enough for housing. Yes, I'm saying, guys, I'm just having fun. Check this road out to my left. I know this is where we come up to see the uh, Christmas lights, but I want to check it out just the same, see what the views are like. Because the mountain over there is. Uh, it's one more. Oh, I've ne never seen that before. Looks like a Japanese Chinese temple there. Just checking out a few places. This is where we come to see the night lights up here guys can you walk up that way I wonder you must be able to I'll have to check it out it's a bit hazy over there today Remember, this is a checkout. Checking out things, having a look, see what's going on. One of the communication towers on my right. right. And of course, they wouldn't have a park over the side of the road so you can look over, would they? I've never been up here. This is the first time I've come this far. Now I usually go back as far as the other houses there. They're probably That's that thing we saw on the side of the road. Well, I saw. I don't think you were watching. 
We're gonna go up there. I'm gonna be in here in town. It's gonna look a punch in here. I'll turn this way because I can see what's coming down the hill and I can see what's going up the hill. And we're just taking a little drive, guys. No! I'm not doing a drive by shooting! I'm not like that. I love people. I don't kill people. Joke. No, I'm not really, seriously. I just want to come up and see what the views are like up here. See what's happening. Just having fun, guys. That's all. Oh, someone's been doing burnouts! <laughs> My goodness sake. I wonder if I can go over there for a minute and just pull over here. Give me a second, guys, because the views are nice. Oh, that's one of the communication towers. Uh, I was telling you about up there and the other ones are over there through the bushes up on the hill Along and all that are further over that way, and through the haze straight ahead uh, in the valley, there is Melbourne Airport and Melbourne behind that. That's the colder highway you can hear down below Mount Aiken over there. We're down just a little bit further and it's good I can get out and do a video here and there like this while CJ's at home with Mama all the housing development that's going ahead down there in Sunbury and that's uh, where the house in, on the hill over there is uh, the vineyard uh, on the top, oh boy, wouldn't that have beautiful views? And then you've got the Jackson's Hill Estate, which is straight ahead. Anyway, we'll get down to the bottom and see what's happening on the other side. Just checking my rear vision mirrors, no cars coming behind me or in front of me for that fact. Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep them doggies moving, Roy. Someone must be building something there with those long things. Must be some sort of thing. I want to tackle that hill. That hill. I want to climb over there. Um, it'd be interesting. And someone's riding their bike down the home. Yeah, I'd love to. I've climbed halfway up it. I'd love to climb more and have a look up there. Where that tower is. and just angle in the camera a bit yeah I'd love to tackle that mountain on the other side looks doesn't look so steep this side have a look and see if there's a road up there just gonna go and have a look up here yeah as I said these were all the lights are Santa lights and that come up and check along here 
Someone's gonna need to supply app. Looks good. Looks like good workshop. <laughs> Is up here. Some lost land up here too for that fact. Nice barn, garage, free car. That's what I'd love. One for my car, one for Arlene's, and um, the rest just for working in. Doing little things, little jobs. Some nice houses around here, I tell you. Oh, I am telling you. <laughs> Kinda of look up this road, see what's going on up here. Probably not much. That's a nice house. Dallas. <laughs> uh, nice little houses up here. I was just I was thought I caught sight of uh, a footpath going up the side of the hill. Uh, I think no, it was a gate. And it's locked, so you cannot get in. Control by security. That's okay. Nice house. Uh, where is it? No. I'll say no. Some beautiful. Money builders, veg vegetable growers. That one there on my left is lovely. Sandstone. That's nice too. On the right. And get rid of those weeds, mate. Get your tractor out. Pull them out with the root tractor. That's what I used to do. Grab the tractor and just pull the uh, weeds out with the tractor. And then walk along later and go and pick it up and pick up the weeds. When we were little kids, we used to do that. Am I going up there? Well, I'll have a look up here, see what's up here. Oh, or car. Well, pick a tank too. Nice. Think of when I walked up this hill last time. Um, oh, he's got all these blown up stand. I think the last time I walked up here, I walked up behind these houses. That definitely is the mountain I'd love to climb up there. And I think I walked up on the far side of that uh, hill, on the other side. Just checking out, see if I can find some not so steep places to walk up with a footpath. So I can get you some good uh, videos and some new content guys. This is a new video too with a bit of different content in it. You could say it's like a live, but oh lovely old car. Oh geez, I hate it when they leave old cars out in the rain. Oh, get over it Scotty. 
not no property. They're not no cars. Forget about it. <laughs> Uh, you know where I'm coming from, guys. Yeah. You see old cars like that. I just love to do the map. <laughs> that will probably go up to a. Oh, there's a little walk track up there. That's why I'm not going up there. Let's do a U turn, come back again. This place intrigues me. Little Chinese. Yeah, it's hard to check that out at night time. Nice center decorations. It's quite easy from here. Nice gardens. I think up here one day when we did the uh, night uh, lights. And, uh, yeah, I can get up that way too. Oh, it looks so steep. Look, so deceiving. We'll come up here and do a night video of the uh, lights there's obviously people have got new light designs now Pity it's a hazy day today, it really is. Because it would get better views of the uh, city and surrounding areas. There is one house that the lady uh, requested us last time. She can, said you can do a video this time, but next time when you do, uh, let me know, because they don't uh, like uh, you walking around and filming their house without their permission. So that's fine. I fully understand that. Bogans live there, Scoot B. Where that guy is? It's a Bogan house. One thirty. Jeez, I'm going past my time. 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 I mean, time. Yes. Yeah, so she requested that next time, because they live just up here. That next time we do, uh, let them know and uh, uh, ask if we can do a video. And I think the last time. Oh yeah, she's got all the decorations up. Even more! Yes, and there's more! So we will try and get a video of the Christmas lights soon. Do you? Oh, someone's parked the bus in their house. Good old Mercedes. We will do that. It's a beautiful day. It's oh, the temperature's dropped. It's gone down to 29 now. At 1:31 in the afternoon. 
What am I going to do? I'm going home to uh, sew Mum's seat covers so I can put them back on this car without them uh, looking, destroying the seat, if you know what I mean. They're good seat covers and I don't want to lose them, so I've got to uh, sew both of them by hand. Can't do it by the uh, machine. It's just too hard. So it'll give me something to do. Scotty will end up doing something. You can trust me on that one. But, uh, yeah, I've got that to do. There's always something to do around the house. <laughs> always something to do around the house, guys. Plenty to do. It's just the time factor. I'm planning to do more when CJ goes back to kinder again next year. He's still in the second term of kinder, which me and um, Karen, his teacher, um, think it's better for him to do. So we will do that and um, he'll be better for it when he goes to school. He's just a little bit too young and not only that, he's learning to go like Cebuano on Versailles as well as English and he can be a bit, you know, too much but what we want him to learn, I want him to learn it so uh, yeah, I think it's his, when we get back home he can say hi to mum and dad in Tagalog and Know, just get to um, learn the language and also with his cousins too which makes it a big help as well so uh, we're looking forward to that looking forward to heading back probably won't be this year or might be halfway through next year maybe the end of next year because Arlene starts her new job soon so, I'm not telling you where that is. But congratulations to my beautiful wife on that. Well done, darling. And you've done well since you've come here. I'm very proud of you. So proud of you. It's, you know. Whoa! Tank world's gone. <laughs> oh my good way. Big shout out to Sammy PH, Christopher Beecham, G and J Life. Big shout out to you guys. Tropical Tim in the Philippines, Wish for Wonder. Dark Sider, big shout out to you, mate. Aussie Farming in the Philippines, William and Chick, big shout out. Also to Chat. One I hope I got that right. I keep confusing myself. But then again, I'm easily confused. <laughs> Joke lang. So, as we head into Samri, uh, petrol is, uh, I think, unless it's 1427 and diesel's 15. 95 and gas is 95.5 yeah, 14.8 I wasn't far off it in January delivery road closed use Horn Street driveway closed from mid Jan use Horn, use uh, Horn Street, yes, because they are doing. Well, I think they're going to go from the right here, where they're working, over to this side, and uh, both the driveways uh, are going to be closed. They're going to close them off for working, so they need to do that. Country trains coming in from the city, heading to Swan Hill, Bendigo. 
And we'll do a video like that too as well, guys. Traffic lights today. Since they're doing all these road work, railway works and stuff like that, it really has made it. Oh, good on you, sport! Wang Tang! Yo. He's a bloody typical, he's an Essendon supporter. Bloody Essendon supporter. She or he can't drive. I think they'd learn better, they've got kids' seats in the back. Yes, somebody's four wheel drive country. <laughs> what a four wheel drive. There's, oh, there's another pub over there. I forgot to give my beer. Oh, I gotta get my beer soon. Uh, I ain't drink the uh, San Miguel um, low carb. And uh, I'll stick them in the fridge. Chance. Someone's car's dirty. Uh, it's gone back up to 30 point naught again. Uh, it's funny when you know, I was up in the hills, it was only 29. It's gone back down. Lady waiting on the talk on the side. Yeah, it looks like someone's uh, done a runner with someone's um, scooter. Police uh, signage all over it, and they look like they've wrecked it on someone. What a lot of brainiacs! It's like swearing some people stupid. Why would you do that to a disabled person? Seriously, that's not nice. You know, she depends on that to get around, or he, and they just stripped it. And just drop there but then again also they should have made sure it was in the garage and locked up and standing on the uh, patio of their house so sort of felt sorry for them but I go in a way so uh, people should look after their stuff too more, more to the point as well This hill doesn't look stable when you're riding up it, it is. Anyway guys, this has been Scott Expat in the Philippines. We'll catch up with you soon. Take it easy, enjoy, remember, life is good. Have a good Christmas holidays. And take it easy. And from Arlene and Daylene's channel and mine, we wish you all the best. And don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Stay home. Stay with family. And, um, you know, uh, just keep safe off the road. Keep your family safe and uh, how hard's that guys uh, seriously you just got to look after your family and uh, what the top half of our world has been uh, like I feel sorry and uh, my heart is crying that's bleeding and uh, to all my dear family in the Philippines and all our dear Philippine friends we pray and we are with you and we just wish you a Merry Christmas and just you know, remember one thing, life is good, you're alive, you're safe, your families are safe, those got hurt, we pray and wish you well, wish you all the best. And those who didn't make it, our deepest sympathies and condolences to 
all your family. So I hope everything is good. And I, um, we, from my family to yours, take care, guys. We love you. Mahal kita. Bye for now.